Hi Virgo, Twin Flame, Divine Feminines. This is a special reading of general guidance, what you'll be working on from the eclipse on December 22nd to the next three months of 2020. And it's just guidance from the Divine Masculine Collective, Archangels, Source Energy, and Ascended Masters. They asked me for you to bring out the black tourmaline. So here we are. I've already shuffled the deck, so I'm gonna shuffle a couple more times and pull your cards. I'm Jennifer. I'm Divine Feminine, uh, Beta Healer, Shaman, Mystic, Oracle. I read tarot cards, I'm a psychic medium, and I help Divine Feminines on their path to unconditional love. So, um, There is a little bit of a warning for you to not get too distracted right now. Um, there's a little bit of energy that's coming through that you are potentially being led down a path that is not going to serve your highest good. It feels like a... It doesn't feel dangerous or anything. It just feels like something... Like you want a little bit of a retreat. And you're looking for a little bit of fun to lighten up this heavy negativity. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, they're just saying don't go too far astray. Because... Oh... All right, we had something flip. It's Kuan Yin, care and compassion. I get the sense that you're taking care of people right now, and it's weighing heavily on your heart. Um, and that you need to like let loose a little bit, break free a little bit. They're just saying you can do this. Don't let it get to the point where you are. Um, you're not taking care of yourself and it goes too far. Like instead of doing it consciously, you're doing it unconsciously. Let's see what the cards have to say. They keep showing me this lotus blossom here. Don't get stuck in the mud, okay? You don't need to get stuck in the mud. You can have some fun on a little vacation perhaps. We have dance. That's exactly what came to my mind. Do something to shift your vibration. Akasha, your your guidance is divinely guided. Buffalo spirit, the abundant universe will provide. They're showing me there will be opportunity for you to fly. They're showing me these feathers. Dear spirit, bring a gentle touch. Fly somewhere and have a little bit of adventure. Canary spirit, sing your own song. There's a lot of, they're bringing a lot of lightness in for you because it's very heavy. Get some black tourmaline and um, meditate with it a little bit of a couple minutes. Mary Magdalene, Teacher Awakens. This has been prevalent in a couple different of the signs, a couple readings. Bridget, Inner Strength. So that's a beautiful card to come through for you if you're having this heaviness on your heart. St. Germain. We got that in Leo. It was the other deck, but the same card. Um, you can create miracles. And Neptune. I attune to the wisdom of Atlantis and Lemuria held in Neptune. Every single pile so far, and I only have two left, has had um, Lemurian wisdom come through. Turquoise, shamanism. So this is a shaman stone, turquoise. I'll put these right here. I feel like I'm jamming a lot of cards in here. <clears throat> okay, very high Ascended Masters guidance. Um, copper, telepathy, very, very high vibrational. Cobalt, so this is star seed energy. Yeah, you guys are working in a very advanced level right now. Seven of Swords, your tarot cards. So we have a little bit of stuff going on here. Three of Wands. You want to expand your horizons. The Hermit. Your energy in reverse. So 
you're not feeling 100% like yourself, maybe you're off your, your game a little bit. Nine of coins reversed. You're not very happy in your situation. You're not really feeling it. No, you are not. Eight of Swords. I will say this is the most difficult of the tarot readings we've had so far. And also the highest level of guidance that's come in. Very, very high vibrational guidance. So first of all, I want to say that Quan Yin is coming through very strongly. Um, you are being very, very divinely guided and protected. And you need to like give yourself some pats on the back. You need to give yourself a little recognition. You, I'm getting the sense on your journey, might be a little bit alone. You might not, but you might, even if you have support around you, you might feel alone. And this journey is just lonely sometimes, especially if you are in the higher vibrations and you're a teacher who's awakening, you know, this is, you know, the, I'm a fan of Esther and um, Abraham and Jerry Hicks. And, you know, this is cutting edge. This is very cutting edge. You have a 10 and a 7 and another 7 and 8 and a 9. A three in, a her in the hermit, which is a um, nine. So you're progressing in here. You have a three, a nine, and a ten. You're progressing very, very quickly. You're really raising highly in your vibration, um, your earthly vibration, not your soul vibration, because your soul vibration doesn't raise. Um, and if you're not keeping up with that vibration, you might feel the pull between... <clears throat> where you're being guided and where you're stuck here. Because I am getting this feeling that you are stuck. You're stuck. This is heavy energy here. The Hermit, you know, it's a solitary card. And in re reverse, it doesn't necessarily mean it's not solitary. And so is the Nine of Coins. And it's you just not being happy being yourself, you know, because a because a Virgo that's in their own power is happy in their own abundance. It it they are happy going inward and they are happy being extroverted. But right now you're looking towards the horizon and you're a little bit trapped in your mind in a negative sense. And this might be that you're bound to care for someone right now that's a little bit of a burden. You know, I'm not getting the sneaky so much with this card or the deception. I'm getting a little bit of that, that you know, nine, ten of wands energy where it's a little bit of a burden. You see her here in her blue, right? In her purple, in her spiritual element out out in the desert <coughs> under a full moon carting away these five swords right and i just get the sense that you are having quite a large download of spiritual knowledge that you're not completely up to speed with and it might be that you're giving yourself so much. You're giving your care and compassion to those who need you. Someone who's ill or someone who just is requiring a tremendous amount of your energy. Um, kids, aging parents, um, a volunteer, something. I can see that you're being quite selfless in your you're giving right now and um, two very high vibrational cards again expanding consciousness ascension you know using that violet light the violet flame to alchemize the pain and suffering of others and um, you're learning you're learning how to use this flame here oh my goodness what's wrong with me here Okay, 
you're using how you're learning how to use this flame and you're being guided I, I get some of your hands on healers too or you work with energy healing this gentle touch here they're showing me um, feathers in each one of these pictures um, this feather as being a symbol between uh, heaven and earth so some may have, um, even though you're an earth sign, you may have significant air in your chart because I am getting the sense of there's a lightness um, to your healing abilities. There's um, some, some part of it that is a mental manipulation of energy, not in a negative way, but uh, a healing modality like Theta or um, Scalar or Reiki or all these different crystals perhaps um or using um smoke like with feathers um or using airwaves of sound i'm getting all these healing modalities coming through that um are being either guided to you or you're enhancing them you're accelerating with them new opportunities are coming in for you um, they're showing me a lot of ecstatic dance for some of you, not all of you, and, um, this is the weirdest message. I don't know what this is coming from. Uh, some of you will be working with yoga practitioners and they want me to, I, please comment if this applies to you, because this is a very specific message for me to get through. Um, they want me to have you look for an opportunity to do like a sunrise um yoga meditation with sound healing on like outside or on the beach or some sort of element of nature brought into it perhaps if it's inside that there's you know some large crystal or aromatherapy or salt or an element brought in uh, that enhances it. So they're showing me that. They're showing me that these are the colors of the ocean and sand. And then they're showing me that this is the colors of um, the sunrise. So if that is applying to you, that is great. Also, using that violet flame, um, specifically meditating with Mother Mary while using the black tourmaline to ground um, that very, very high vibrational Neptunian energy and um, accessing the Akasha, if that's something that you like to do with your past lives. And um, they are showing me past life healing and that maybe something you also do get involved with um, karmic healing somehow, but that the lotus flowers will bring you um, out of that deep earth bound feeling up into the air and light and whew, that's a lot that just came through i hope that helped you that is a very intense message that came through um just remember you're a star seed you you have the ability um, for telepathy, manifestation, accessing the Akasha. You have healing energies and um, there's a lot being asked of you right now. I get the sense that it has to do with this Capricorn, Saturn, Pluto energy that's going on. That you are, you know, leveling up to a degree um, and that you are having to expand how much you give to others right now. Um, just know that that won't last forever. You will have an opportunity to rest and recharge. And when that comes, just go ahead and take it and don't feel guilty. Um, rest, recharge, and then get back to doing what you need to do. Okay, Virgo? I really appreciate you like, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I'd love to hear your feedback if any of this very specific message resonated with you. Don't forget to watch your 
moon venus or rising if that calls to you um because somewhere in the interplay of all those will be the message that's right for you right this is a collective reading so anyway i really appreciate you much love on your journey thanks for um, watching